In 1908, the first commercial color system for motion picture was introduced. It uses only green and red color filters. Although it is far from today's standard, the system is also the first to use just two primary frames to reproduce colors. Decades later, Edwin Land took pictures with just green and red color filters, and projected them with white and red light sources. The superimposed image surprisingly still contains colors. Although not perfect, Land's paper was the first to study the perceptual effect with two color frame systems. Recently, there are new directions exploring systems with only two color frames to save bandwidth, power, and cost. For example, spatial temporal multiplexing leaves blue in one frame, and have red and green in a mosaic pattern in the other frame. To achieve higher resolution, local adaptive method uses red blue and green blue LEDs as backlight, but its color can be wrong due to suboptimal separation. Alternatively, the backlight can be content adaptive and globally optimized, but finer local details can be missing due to larger global errors. Learning from the previous methods, we propose the locally optimized mixed primary displays. Here's a quick comparison. Colors can be off with the globally optimized method when the variation is large. A local adaptive display provides better reproduction and finer details, but color is still wrong sometimes. The spatial temporal method has great color but lower resolution due to subpixel mosaic. Finally our method provides great color and high resolution and closely resembles the reference image. Here's how our algorithm works. With natural image statistics, the pixels are not uniform in the RGB color space but they rather form color lines. Exploring this, we can find least square fitted principal axis and projecting pixels to find the optimized frames. This is the global content adaptive optimized to primary method. Although image looks great globally, finer details are ignored by the least square fitting. Here is our method. Learning from the local image statistics and the low pass color filtering in human visual system, we solve the problem locally. Our algorithm solves for two frames, each contains a low resolution color backlights array and a high resolution monochromatic image. The monochromatic image optically modulates or attenuates the backlights, and we can temporally or optically add up the two frames. The result closely resembles the reference image, and we even improve the algorithm to consider both practical hardware constraints and perceptual effects. Here, we build two prototypes. The first prototype is built from a high-speed monochromatic LCD in the front and a low-resolution color LEDs array in the back. The frames are temporally multiplexed beyond the flicker fusion rate. The second prototype is a projector with only two spatial light modulators and two low-cost and low-resolution color LCD. Their optical superposition also adds up the reference image. Here are some results. Global 2 primary method closely resembles the reference image, but local color is missing. When we photograph the prototypes, due to practical hardware constraints, Global 2 primary can have severe color shift. Similar to our hardware, the two-field scheme uses low-resolution red-blue and green-blue backlights. Without properly optimizing the modulation, their results can have blue or purple tints. Finally, our local backlight are properly optimized or mixed to both frames, so it can better reproduce the reference. Here is another example with both simulation and photographs and our method has better colors. We also compare the color gamuts. In the global 2 primary display, since only two colors are used, all the color points are projected onto the curve, and a lot of greens are missing. The two-field scheme incorrectly adds too much blue to the gamut. Finally our method more faithfully represents the original color points. Here, we also show the video result. To conclude, we propose a content adaptive locally mixed primary display that optimizes colors for the two frame displays.
Our mathematical framework considers both practical hardware and perceptual effects. It is flexible to include many extensions, and is implemented in GPU. Integrating both optics computations and human perceptions, we hope to advance the computational displays